All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are driving up to Pennsylvania right now. It is snowing, it is storming like crazy, so it's gonna be a long drive. So everyone comment down below and ask any questions about LS Nasty, what we do with racing, setups on the cars, uh, anything that you can think of, comment down below and we'll film a whole nother video, kind of like a Q&A answering all your questions. So fill up the comment section with a bunch of good, awesome questions, whether it's some tech stuff, because I got Matt with me here, whether it's Holly stuff, chassis setup, uh, what we do, storm work, anything like that, I will film a whole nother video and uh, we'll talk about it. So comment down below and enjoy today's video. All right, when you guys watch this video, there's only a couple days left to win this unit. TDI Turbo, 85 millimeter, V-banded housing, T6 backside, 132 AR. It is an absolute unit. All you have to do to get entered to win this thing is go to lsnasty.com. We got a bunch of merchandise. We got new socks. We got gray and red socks. We got new stickers. We got hoodies. We got flags. We got shirts. We got the fries. They cross your eyes. Dot your T's. And what else, Logan? Dot your T's, cross your eyes. Nothing? They don't do anything else? Not on this channel. Not on this channel. <laughs> Go to lsnasty.com, get entered to win this. Giveaway ends Wednesday at midnight, so you only got a couple days left, and enjoy today's video. All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. We're here at LS Nasty headquarters. I have to actually do some work with Logan for some storm stuff, but before we really get into today's video, I just want to talk to you guys about my daily, the Caprice. You guys have, you've heard me mention the build on this. The guys at Blaze Night Performance did an awesome job uh, doing DOD cam, converter, uh, and we're waiting on a few other parts just to finish it. But as it sits right now, I've been driving it. I've put like five or 600 miles on it and I've been going all over the place. But it is I, what I think the ultimate daily driver right now and it's the ultimate sleeper. So I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of what it is. And you guys probably can't even tell it's running, but listen to it right now. You can barely tell it's got a cam. Very quiet up here. And it is just an absolutely awesome car. So we'll pop the hood. We'll talk to you guys. We'll go over it just a little bit. But we're going to go for a little drive because I don't think you guys understand how unbelievably awesome this car drives. And I've never had a... I've all, I've like skipped steps. I've had turbo street cars. Everything I've had's had like a 400 or power glide in it. Nothing that's got a factory style transmission. So this thing right here, like I drive it on the highway. I drive it like, and I, I drive it all over the place. It doesn't get hot, it doesn't overheat. It drives great, it shifts great. I think I popped the hood on this thing like twice. You can tell it's got a cam in it here. And this is actually a T-cam performance. It's called the Big Stick Cam. It's a massive camshaft. It makes a ton of power. It pulls like a freight train up top. But with the stock manifolds that are on it right now and the stock exhaust, this thing's got like 11 mufflers on it. So you can't even tell that it is camming. So we're going to go, we'll, we'll ride up the road real quick. And uh, we haven't had it on the dyno. The guys at Blaze Night Performance have street tuned it in the car. Awesomely quiet. A little bit of rock, shakes back and forth, so you get that cam feel. It's got a 3,000 stall, GM, six-speed automatic transmission with a lockup converter. It's got a 3,000 stall to triple disc billet lockup, so it's a very nice converter. I mean, this thing's sick. We'll throw this thing in reverse. I need to get a center, center console made. That's one thing. I got my phone charges here, a little LS Nasty sticker. This thing, I'm, I'm blown away, guys. We do some wild ridiculous stuff i know you guys like the stuff that's a little bit more down to earth you guys really like the nitrous car because it's very relatable this right here is very very relatable i picked the car up for 4100 bucks and i did a dod delete uh camshaft lifters head gaskets arp head bolts didn't even do head studs on it and uh, put a different oil pump on there put a million high volume oil pump on there it this thing is just i'm blown away i can't stop driving it it doesn't look great right now because i haven't really messed with the appearance of it but that's next so watch we're gonna pull out of the shop here drives 100 percent stock I'm like, I'm blown away by how great this thing drives. You can't even feel it shift. The converter doesn't stall up super high. It drives so good. Here, we'll go down the road just a little bit. I, <laughs> right now, it's set up on stock injectors. I do have a set of 85 pound injectors. I actually got the wrong height, so I got the right height on the way. Look at the speed out here. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, 
mean, this thing is driving like a dream. And it's so quiet. I'm just not used to having anything quiet. I do have a set of Cook's headers on the way, and I'm up in the air whether I'm going to leave the factory exhaust on it right now or not. But it is nice at this point in time just being quiet. It's got an awesome camshaft in there from Kevin at up at TCAM Performance. I want to hear it sing. I want to hear it talk and smack when I'm sitting at a stoplight. But I've never had anything that was quiet. My old truck, I had a Duramax. It was 2500. It was deleted. It had five-inch straight-through exhaust. That thing was loud as hell. My new truck right now, it uh, it's quiet. I'm not going to say that it's stock, but it is quiet. And I love it being quiet inside. And I really enjoy driving this thing around being quiet. But it, I mean, it drives so good right now. We're going 64 miles an hour. Uh, it's at like, what, 1800 RPM just cruising. It's on E85 right now. And I'm getting like 16 miles to the gallon, which is like more than I could have asked for. I wasn't really doing this for fuel economy. I was doing this so I had like something sporty to drive around. But I mean, this thing is, it's awesome. I've done absolutely nothing to the car other than drop it off at the guys at Blaze Night Performance and they did the DOD delete and everything. Everything else is stock, axles. Uh, they did put a, a Camaro SS pan on it. There's gonna be a link in the description below that you can check out all their stuff. Here, we'll, we'll make a U-turn here. We'll give it a little bit of juice. Traction control lights banging. Dude, this thing is quick. This thing is quick. It is an awesome, awesome car. I'm so I'm so happy with it. The tune-up is absolutely spot on. They uh, Chris at Blaze Night Performance absolutely killed it. Uh, Dusty did all the work on it. It is awesome. I I can't. I, we work on this stuff. They they took the time. I mean, this is how all their stuff is. They do really, really, really nice work. And I supplied them with a bunch of parts. I had a couple that were wrong. As you guys saw when I popped the hood, it's got a factory intake on it. I need to, uh, I'm gonna get like a Rotofab intake for it. A cold air intake. The factory LS3 style intake manifold is great. If you have an LS3 uh, with square port heads, leave the factory intake on there. There's no need to change it. Uh, but this thing right here is just, it's just a load of fun. It drives so good. It's got heat, it's got AC. The seats are comfortable. It's got a huge back seat. I'm just like, this right here, in my eyes, realistically, is the ultimate daily driver slash sleeper on a budget. You're not gonna find a car for the price that I got this for and the price that total all-in work, you can't beat it. I picked the car for 4,100 bucks. I mean, it's a smoking deal. You're you're just not gonna find a better deal than $4,100 for a V8 six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, you got, let's say, let's say you put another five grand on top of it in all your supporting mods, your cam, your converter, all this stuff. You got a sick daily. Uh, you got a, you got a sick daily. So this thing, I'm absolutely blown away. I love it. I don't even think you guys will enjoy it that much through the camera because it doesn't make any noise. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it's just, we're cruising right now. I can't get over it. I finally, I can have my cake and eat it too. Make a smooth little U-turn here. We'll do like a mild pull as like medium acceleration. We're shifting at 4,500. I mean, dude, 60 miles an hour. Come on, come on, dude, come on. This thing is absolutely insane. I love it. I love it. Uh, dude, I love this thing. This is like my all-time favorite car by far. So we're actually gonna run. I gotta pick up my truck. Uh, so Logan's gonna ride with me. So we'll uh, we'll ask him what he thinks of the uh, of the sleeper. I mean, this thing is the real deal sleeper. You fire this thing up, you have no idea. It sounds like it's got a miss. It honestly does sound like it's got a miss. Here he is. Sleeper or no? I don't know. We're about to see if it's a sleeper. Is it running? I can't hear it. I was running a little bit. <laughs> How funny is it? There it is. There it is. Look at that thing chopping. Got a runner. <laughs> God, I love this thing. What do I mint? Hell of a way to start it out, right? Yeah. That's literally how I leave every stoplight, every corner I take. 
after driving this thing a little bit, uh, I, I must say it rides good. It literally rides down the highway like a normal car. Whenever you get to the stoplight, you can feel a little bit of a cam. I don't know if you can see any shaking. But it rides smooth as can be. Here, let's hit John with it. This thing's camming. I'm telling you, you, I can't wait to hear the exhaust on this thing. Can't even hardly see it at idle, the cam. You can sit in here and feel it a little bit, not too major. But from the outside, it sounds good. And it'll sound real good with some exhaust on it. <laughs> 